I love Greg and Roberta. They're just the best, nicest, most genuine, authentic people I know. Bill Collard engaged his son who took on the role and responsibility of being the president. Now both of uh, his children are parts of the uh, board, so it's really bridged three generations now. They are such uh, sincere and thoughtful people. They inspire a lot of people that can look up to them and say donating is just not something that you do for yourself. It's something that you're doing for the community. Well, the vision of Mr. Collard has helped create what we've been able to do, having this piece where we're helping to end homelessness. The Collards and their work are the extension of our family. And when you are a family, there is that sense of trust. There is that sense of oneness with a common purpose for the good of humanity. In every community, boys and girls are at risk. No matter what family they come from, no matter what they're going through, we have homeless children, we have children in foster care, we have children like yours and mine. I think the best part is just being able to come here and just, even though you're like away from like your actual family, like you come here and it's kind of like another family. They help me do a lot and they encourage me to do my homework and do my best. They feel safe in the Boys and Girls Club. They have caring adults that are here every single day to help them. And the Collard saw that need in our community. The Collard Foundation is just a great example of a thoughtful and very proactive foundation that they are looking to be involved with their uh, grantees. They know us, they know what we do, they ask real questions, and they stay with us. They know that the need keeps going, and so they stay with it. Speaking from the Ronald McDonald House perspective, the gifts that the Collard Foundation has given to us, what that does is it allows families who have critically ill children to access the best medical care in the world for their child. Baltimore is the home of world-class pediatric medical care. And because the Callards are supporting us, these families can travel to Baltimore, stay with us, and be able to access medical care. It would be hard to enumerate on the impact that the foundation has had on many people's lives at many different levels. Just looking here at GBMC and the spiritual side, I, I, I remember seeing Joe Hart, our chaplain, always running around the hospital ragged because he was the only chaplain here and treating 300 plus patients, trying to cater to them. He, he was really stretched. The Coward Foundation, by funding a chaplain's position, allowed us to hire someone that we otherwise we did not have budget for. And so as a result, more families are helped at different times at different times during the week. Greg himself and his wife were instrumental in helping us put in this beautiful cancer center together. Without people like them, uh, this would not have been possible. Two years ago, I was diagnosed. It was a wait and watch diagnosis. It flared up this past January. And I have to say that here at the Kaler Cancer Center has had a staff from the receptionist to the nurses, to the doctor, that was beyond anybody's expectations. The Colored Grant was actually given to us for veteran services. Um, and it created my position originally when I started a year ago. Um, since then, we've helped about 35 veterans either end homelessness or avoid homelessness and emergency situations. By funding these positions, the county is able to open up its doors and see veterans on a regular basis. There are over 13,000 veterans in Carroll County, and some percentage of them are homeless or indigent or couch surfing, if you will. And his funding, his resources, within 24 hours, we can get a veteran off the streets. One of the things that I found is the fact that the focus on education and their background in education and the fact that uh, they're laser focused on supporting of educators and the creation of teachers within the state itself. 25% of the teachers within the state of Maryland are Towson graduates. So to be able to provide that linkage to Towson and to STEM education for K through 12 was just a natural for us to be able to work with Collard on. We want to thank the Callhurt Foundation for caring about our kids and our families and for being able to help us build a new home for so many more children that need us. I'd like to thank the Collard Foundation for all the support that they've given us over the years. 
Greg, Roberta, and your family, and those on your board of your foundation, I offer my heartfelt thanks for that generosity which you entrust us with in providing care for our patients and families as an extension of your family. Thank you to the Callard Foundation. Thank you, Callard Foundation. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.